Well, it's one of the most serious jobs in the world. Being a surgeon takes a heck of a lot of brain power and a whole lot of confidence. But some doctors also find the time to have a little fun, like these two stars of the hit series, Botched. Hey, you ever hear of elfing? Well, you and Heather do in the bedroom is none of my business. Apparently, it's where people get their ears done. Be pointy at the top, you know, like an elf. That still sounds pretty kinky to me. Everything sounds kinky to you. <laughs> we don't just watch Dr. Cherry and Dr. Paul for their plastic surgery successes. We're, we also tune in for the pair's bromance. So, with a new season of the show dropping, let's find out what is in and what's out for 2024. Dr. Terry Debro joins us now live from LA. Hello. Hey guys, how are you? We are great. The second half of season eight is out now in Australia. Did you ever think that you and Paul would still be making this show all these years later? I, by the way, I didn't. It's been 10 years, if you can believe that. We did another series called Botch by Nature, so this is really the ninth season. But this season's unique because we took on cases that we said no to in the past. So we took all these years, this decade of botched experience, and we're applying them to the most impossible cases. And, you know, wait till you see it. It's scary, but it's really rewarding. Just like the morning show. You and Paul do lots of correcti corrective cosmetic work, but you also have consultations where some interesting characters come and see you, of course. We love this stuff. Are you surprised with what some surgeons will do to patients? Uh, you know what? I'm still surprised. It's unbelievable how doctors will be influenced by patients, even they know sh or should know better. These patients can find people that will do stuff to them that's dangerous, that predictably will lead to a complication. That's why we love when they come on and we provide a cautionary tale. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they take our advice and sometimes, unfortunately, they don't. But, I mean, you're seeing Justin Jedlica right there, the guy with all those body implants. I mean, who would do that all over their body? He's done them everywhere, including his genitalia. So it gets pretty crazy. Yeah, we've had him on a, as a guest on this show it's talking about all the money he spent on himself. Plastic surgery trends, they come and they go. You've, you've seen your fair share. What do you think will be popular this year? Or does it even work like that? It does work like that. You know, there are certain influencers, particularly the Kardashians, that can really move the needle in plastic surgery. I don't know if you remember, but when Kylie Jenner came out and she was injecting her lips at a very young age, that became all the rage. Right now, it's really about fat transfer still to the buttock, the most dangerous procedure. Don't do it because it can get into the blood vessels in the buttock and go up to your lungs and give you a real problem. But what we're seeing in Hollywood now is a lot of injectables, a lot of non-invasive tightening procedures, and a newish procedure called the Fox Eye Lift, where the corners of the eyes are being lifted up. That really is a hot trend. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Do it on, let someone else do it before you experiment with it. Yeah, good advice. Uh, we've got to talk about Ozempic for a sec, the diabetic drug being used for weight loss and making headlines all over the world. You've used this, right? I have used Manjaro, which is Ozempic plus another. It's a dual drug. I think these drugs, as controversial as they are, are miracle drugs. They are really, in many ways, the cure for obesity. As long as you do them under doctor supervision with diet and exercise, I went on them. And they do have side effects in about 30% of people, but the side effects are pretty minimal. And if you're under a doctor's supervision, they are game changers. So if you are obese and you have risk factors that put you into a category of, you know, diabetes or cardiovascular disease, you should talk to your physician and look into these drugs. These are game changers. Yeah, as you say, good advice to check with your doctor, mm. as always. Mm -hmm. Before we say goodbye, you and your lovely wife, uh, the star of The Real Housewives of Orange County, Heather. Um, how's Heather these days? Good? Heather's good. She's shooting the new season, and, uh, you know, there's some past housewives that are coming back that have that are dating the current housewives ex-boyfriends it's a whole thing it's in the <laughs> beginning i'm not supposed to talk about it they'll probably fire me from the housewives which by the way wouldn't be the worst thing in the world let's be honest but um it's going to be a really interesting season on real housewives Orange county heather's doing great thank you for asking yeah. um she's wonderful you know we moved up to beverly hills so we live part-time now in Beverly Hills, part-time in Orange County, and she's become friends with the Beverly Hills girls as well.
Fantastic. Okay. Now, before we go, of course, mm. we need to t you need to walk us through this. No surgery is 100% safe. What do you tell patients about weighing up the risks? Okay, I think it's really important that you spend a significant t amount of time looking at the informed consent, that list of the risks, and see whether if any of them happen, you wish you wouldn't have done the operation. For example, you do a tummy tuck, there's going to be a big scar. What if that big scar is thick and dark? And by the way, even when done by the best surgeons under the best circumstances, all of those complications can happen. So think about them very carefully. Don't go in and sign up with the first plastic surgeon you meet. Put a lot of sleep between you and the operation. Roll around in your gut. Talk to your loved ones. And if you still think it's worth it, then it's a maybe. All right? Mm, but wow. think twice before any significant plastic surgery procedure. Right. Doc, Such well, good advice. Yeah, well, lovely to talk to you this yeah. morning in the commercial break before we started. We asked if you could fix my face. You said you have a scalpel, not a magic wand. So thank you. Good to talk to you this morning. <laughs> I was kidding. You both look fantastic. Come on. Uh, you need a new screen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. He's on a computer screen, not an HD <laughs> yeah, one. The HD one's oh, scary. Well. Oh, well. Oh, the new season of Botched is streaming now on Hey You. Hey You. Hey. And you can catch up with other episodes of the hit series on 7 Bravo and 7 Plus. We'll yeah. be back right after this.